Welcome to another six man recap. Uh, we've got Salt Bray here. I'm House Lasku. We've got the six man or the uh, Asian Adam Silver. Which one would you got? Six, 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 six. Okay, six, six, he, six, six <laughs> guard. Six yeah. guard. And we have got, wait, who we've got here? Oh, we've got House of O3. He's back and he's got some thoughts for us, which we're going to get into. <laughs> um, so the question I've got for you guys. The Messiah. <laughs> the question I've got for you guys is we just had Super Bowl weekend and the Bengals made it all the way to the Super Bowl. They didn't win. However, they were, I think they were bottom of their division in the NFL. And they had they had num- number fifth pick in the draft, I think. So that they were they were terrible. They were terrible. They had an awful record last year. So my question is this year, which team could be the Bengals of the NBA? And I'll uh, I'll I'll go last since uh since I know I've got two haters here. So I'll go last with my my pick. But um Bray, do you want to kick us off? Because you, you're already shaking your head. Yeah, I mean, for for me, there's only there's only one real answer here, uh, and that's that's the Chicago Bulls. You didn't believe me when I told you they'd be terrible last year, and now they're good. Boring. Um, but actually, to surprise, my surprise, surprise, to my surprise, they are holding on uh, in this injured stretch. Uh, the mother Rosen is taking his game to a new level, um, and is doing things only seen uh, since by Will Chamberlain. And, um, yeah, the Bulls are still winning. They're still atop the Eastern Conference. Um, I believe they're tied with Miami right now. I think Miami might have the tiebreaker. But zero games behind. I love it. Um, and this is with Lonzo Ball out and Caruso out. So the defense is falling off a cliff. And um, in addition, Zach Levine's been in and out with injuries as well. Um, but that is really the fact that they're still winning with those injuries. I think they've got what it takes to take it to the next level in the playoffs. Now, those guys are literally going to come back for round one. There's going to be no, you know, let's let's do some things in the last few regular season games. Yeah, none of that. It's literally going to be straight into playoff intensity. But Caruso has got a chip. Man knows how to play. Um, and Monzo, I think, uh, have been having a terrific year. That's why I've got a I heard word on the street is that that big centre from Europe was getting a lot of touches recently and somehow the Bulls have been doing better when he's getting a lot of touches and making buckets. I don't know. I just, I just heard a word on the street. I'm not sure if you heard the same word I did. I, I don't think it's been related to the amount of touches he's getting. Uh, I think it's perhaps related to how he's been shooting the ball, uh, which might have uh, really increased his efficiency there. Um, but you're absolutely right. Let's give him his flowers. Vujovic has been playing very, very well of late uh, to go alongside DeRozan's stellar performances. To be fair, if DeRozan wasn't playing so well, Vujovic would probably get, be getting more love in the media. Cool. Uh, thanks for your boring answer. I forgot the Bulls. Yeah. Gosh, creative. Jordan, uh, Jordan I'm going to go straight to you because obviously you're the only one who believed in the Bulls um, when we did our picks last year. What? Um, <laughs> Last year, Wait, we did our picks last year. Yeah, last year. I was, I was preaching the balls all last year. Yeah, you were all preaching the balls last year for a losing record in the spot. I don't understand. Jordan drafted him. That's why I'm Jordan drafted him. That's why I'm saying Jordan. Oh, like, gosh, you're so butthurt. What's wrong with you? Like, we, we didn't, even, didn't even bring up Philly and you're so butthurt. Sorry, Jordan, before you were rudely interrupted. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sorry, Jordan. <laughs> that's all yeah. right Alex I feel the pain you I remember you were you were in my vehicle Billy well. Donovan's coaching to you <laughs> <laughs> I remember the chance I remember um but yeah I have to agree with Ray here like the improvement like it's like the Bulls made all the right decisions on that and they came up they're in second position like he said seven and three in their last 10 and with it the Mar de Rosen the Ma, I say it, the Ma, I like it because he's been, uh-huh. the brother's been playing. The brother's been playing. And of course, he goes on and he beats Michael Jordan's record in his last sets of games, going over 40 points in his last one as well. So, yeah, I think in last, last season, I think they finished 11th. So to come from like 11th to go all the way up to the top to second, massive improvements. Surprisingly, you also see that improvements with the Cavs, who currently sit fourth, and I think they were two below them on the Bulls last season as well. So shout out to the Cavs as well with their massive big up performances. But yeah, those were the big two teams what, in my eyes. Way to go on a limb, guys. Gosh. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on, what are you? There were like there were like four options here. Like I, I'm sorry. Go, okay, the can, can you go over? Gonna, no, no, you know, no, no, win no, no, win no, no. the win the Other people still got to talk. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say. And yeah, he, he did yeah. say the finals as well. 
<laughs> I mean, fine. I didn't say they're going to win the whole thing. I said just make the finals. Uh, Alex, can you <laughs> can you can you give us a bit more fun here than than these two boring pricks? I mean, it's got to be the old the magic, surely, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, that's no, 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 still bad. <laughs> I'm gonna, I don't know if this is allowed, Ed, but because they're at 500, but I'm going to no, go. No, no, losing record. Allowed. No, losing record. Okay, well, I'll go, I'll go with the Hornets. Um, okay. The Hornets are a fun team. Uh, yeah. They're currently still under 500, but um, they're one of my teams. They have the, the fun factor. They're one of the best league pass teams. And if they can create some noise in... Uh, the playing game, I'm kidding myself that they're going to win the first round series, let's be real. Um, but it's a more interesting answer than the Bulls, which is really obvious. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. They might be this team next year, though, because they've got some really nice pieces. I think they might be, um, if they get an elite coach, they might be able to make that happen next year because I think defense is one of the ones that lets them down a bit. I, I think. The, the Hornets is going to be a very uh, attractive landing spot Ridges. in a couple of years to come, Ooh. mainly because I feel like the culture has shifted due to LaMelo. And also, it seems like, uh, I think I saw a tweet with, uh, they just got Montrose Harrell. He said it's the funnest, uh, it's the best time he's ever had playing basketball. Mm-hmm. And that was like after the first game. And on a team where the the ball's infectious and people are making plays, uh, it seems like they've got a lot of characters. I mean, that's a fun team. And um, yeah, I think I agree with Breyer. Not this year, but I think they're going to be dangerous um, they, in a couple of years to come. Are they Grizzlies East? Um, they haven't got the depth. Um, no. But you know, who knows? If Michael Jordan drafts correctly, like he, you know, compared to what he's done in the past, um, we, we never know. We might be having this conversation. Would, um, would you say Hornets has one of the best basketball um, cultures right now within their system? I mean, talking about throughout the league, like you have all the ones which are disrupted, like look at the Lakers, everyone's talking about how it's not vibing well and how Russ is, you know, kind of breaking up that chemistry. I think it's an interesting point, George. I think... Mm-hmm. When I mean culture, uh, culture is a, is a it's a difficult word to determine because when I mean culture, you talk about somewhere like the Heat where they know how to win. Uh, yeah. I feel like Hornets are still building that and it's mm-hmm. more of a case of they're building a, an environment so far and then hopefully mm-hmm. they'll go into a culture. So um, I think they've got the foundation. They just need to, um, yeah, they just need to keep building on it. And if they're winning games and they're being respectable, then it's going to go in the right direction. Yeah. So but you I, mentioned- I think it's more like identity. <coughs> it's like identity. It's like the heat. It's like we're yes. gonna grind you out. You Ooh, yes. you think you're tough. Yeah, you wait. You absolutely wait. We're all having they all have to do like, you know, body fat checks and stuff. Yeah. That's not gonna be easy. You're you look at uh you look at the ball, it's yeah, we're just gonna score more points than you. Doesn't matter. Demar's gonna get forty. He's gonna. You can't like. You try and defend him, and you're gonna be fouling him on jump shots. Like who? He gets. Pro- I think he must be the guy who gets fouled the most on jump shots in the entire league. My God, like two or three times a game, I feel like he's pump fake, pump fake, pump fake on the double team, and he fouled me, and I made it. Like it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, you look at teams like the Warriors, who, despite the obviously shooting prowess of Steph Curry, number one defense in the league have been all the time and then obviously they got Draymond on call back in it's that kind of this is how we're going to beat you every night um or you know a team like the Grizzlies like we play fast and furious like they're, they're gonna try and dunk on your ass and chat all kinds of shit all kinds of shit so I think they're oh well, we we're just gonna say we've been talking about this Edward who do you think no so um Last cut, last thing I want to circle back on on two points I've mentioned. Alex, you mentioned uh, a team that was five hundred. The only team that was five hundred were the Celtics. So if Celtics were the team that you're going to say. Then, cool, fair. Um, Bray, oh, so it was allowed. Oh. No, no, they're, no, they're not allowed. No, the only reason no, I'm not allowed is because I, I drafted good... them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Bray, you said that there were about four contenders or four contenders for this sort of question. What were the four that you were thinking of? Uh, so I think it was basically the the Bulls, the Cavs, the Hornets, and the one we haven't mentioned, which are the leaders, the Raptors. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. Last year. Um, right. Unfortunately, though, none of them are the correct answer. No, they weren't. 
No, they weren't. Oh, yeah, because they were the Tampa Bay Raptors. Yeah. <laughs> correct. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, though, none of them are the correct answer. And the correct answer actually lies in the West, obviously. And oh, no. What? Go on, say it. You want to say Minnesota Timberwolves? I am going to say the Minnesota Oh, my <laughs> God. In what world they reached the NBA Finals? In the same world no the Bengals way. reached the playoffs. In the exactly <laughs> no the same way. world. No way. Uh, again, wait, wait, way to be going out on the limb, guys. P- picking such basic answers. Um, oh, no. Let's just... Um, do you know who's got the best offense in the league since January? Do you know who that might be? Timberwolves. It's none of the teams that I mentioned here. It's not the Suns. It's not the Warriors. It's not the Bucks. It's the Minnesota Timberwolves. And their defense has slipped up since the start of the year. But partly partly being a guy who I don't particularly like, but has had a massive impact on their team is Pat Beverly. And a lot of the reporting coming out of Minnesota has been, he has been really getting onto the guards about how poor they've been playing defense previously last year. And it's really improved D'Angelo, D'Angelo Russell's defense and effort on defense. So with Pat Beverly also being in bed now and saying, you know, we actually fucking have to play defense and actually have an adult in the room is really nice. Car uh, Cat went through a lot of, off the court stuff last year and it did feel like it did well on him but he still had such a great year last year as well he's now going to the all-star berth it's sort of like what happens with um with players when they play for england as soon as they get into the england squad they're like shit they, they start feeling themselves a little bit and get a bit more confidence and you see a bit of an improvement with them when they go in tournaments same thing will happen with cat he's in the all-star game he's in the all-star team again nice boost of confidence going f- going forth for the rest of the year cats averaging over 20 points a game anthony edwards is averaging over 20 points a game D'Angelo Ross is just uh, at 19 points a game. I reckon, you know what? They can make a little run. They're only one and a half games behind Denver this year. Who would have thought that at the start of the year? That's why I'm going out on a bit of a limb. Would I put money in it? Fuck no. But if I'm going to say one team that will have a losing record that could make the finals and it's not a boring pick, let's go for the Timberwolves. Go on. Say what you have to say. Go on. Be haters. Go on. All three of you. You, you know what? The, the, one thing, the one thing that we haven't really talked about is that, and you mentioned, obviously, they're, they're the best offense. The saying is defense wins championships, which also undermines my pick because the Bulls don't play defense either. Why haven't we put the Cavs there? Because the Cavs are the best defensive team in this lot. Uh, no, we Bray, we spoke about this last year. Philly had the one of the best defenses and they got abused in the playoffs. Um, and also the, I think it was the three best defenses got knocked out earlier at the playoffs last year. So yeah, we can speak of that, yeah. So it is it is changing. Um, the only point I'd like to say about the Pat Bev comment is nice that he's finally turning up after he told LeBron that the league was his uh, yeah. a couple of years ago. Next and, five years is mine, so full of shit. apparently. Pat Beverly is is like the Eli Apple of this team. It works very, very nicely. He He's the opposite of John Moran, who wa- I mean, he wants all the smoke, but he can't handle it. He's time up the chimney, but he's choking all the way down the chimney again. Um, so that's my answer. Uh, again, we were... So, We've, I've had enough of your foolishness for the for the Timberwolves hate. Um, anyone else want to say anything about the Timberwolves? Okay, good. Thank you. They are making the finals. Watch me draft them. Watch me draft them. <laughs>